Today we're gonna to be talking about a brand called KTC. Now you may think that this brand is coming out of nowhere. And so KTC is one of the, is a leading manufacturer of monitors. And you all know I like to do these pieces where we talk about monitors that are coming out on the market or that are out on the market and are catching the market by storm. Now this year for 2022 has been amazing for gaming monitors. Now KTC is an OEM manufacturer that have made monitors for brands that you may have on your desk as of right now. Recently, they just uh, showed themselves on EdTechSource. I've been in contact with them for a few weeks trying to work on potentially being a partner with them. Um, no luck so far. So again, this is not sponsored by them or anything like that. I just really like their technology and I've been looking at their page for about a couple of months now trying to figure out how to get in there. So if you want to support the channel, jump in the comment section below and say, KTC partner with Cozy Christopher, right? I really want to try out one of their 42 inch OLEDs and that's the monitor that we're here to talk about. But before we get into this, let's talk about who they are. And so they've been a brand, like I said, in the distribution and creation uh, section since 1995. And so since 1995, they have been building monitors, uh, again, for other, other manufacturers and things like that, right? That's kind of how it works. LG doesn't make all of its monitors, like if you don't know that. Um, Samsung doesn't make all of their monitors. It's, it's outsourced. It's different ways of manufacturing goods. Um, from there, in 2021, they decided to spin off and create their own brand or start selling underneath their own brand. And so now they are selling their monitors as KTC, right? And so you can see that key to combat, and right? And so what we're looking at today is the G4 2P5, which is, I guess, is G42 P5, which is a 42-inch OLED gaming monitor. Now, this year, crazy, crazy, crazy year for monitors, right? We saw just a plethora of monitors start to come out, continue to come out. I've been rocking an OLED monitor for since the first CX48 came out. Um, still my day-to-day -day monitor today with no issues, no burn-in whatsoever. But going forward in 2022 we had all these new releases we had the lg 48 inch we had the um the oled uh, asus 42 and 48 inch we had the i mean just so many to think of us there's there's a ton of them right there's a lot of them like you can watch a bunch of my videos where we talked about it. i even missed some of them right there's the cutie oled monitors that came out this year but one of the monitors that i was extremely excited for was the asus 42 inch oled came out with the heat sink and all those good things originally priced at 1698 it's recently dropped down to 1398 and now we're starting to see the competitors show up on the market so we're looking at the 42 G42 P5 from KTC and we're going to look at just look at the pictures here and there's some YouTube videos where they have partnered with some folks and some folks have got their hands on this monitor so go watch some of those videos because it looks really really good from a design standpoint so 12 reasons to choose. So OLED technology is the LG, uh, LG D WBE panel, right? From, from, OLED, from the actual panel that they're using. 138 Hertz overclocked, it's 4K, right? So like the QD OLED monitors are only out in 1440p right now. So that's their downfall for me, but for gamers, gamers like 1440p, but for me, I'm a 4K person. 0.1 milliseconds greater grade response time, nano textured glass. And so this one has an anti-glare, uh, screen there so it helps with the reflections and things like that and that's you know some people have opinions of the average gaming monitor has anti-glare where this one has anti-glare I like glossy but some of them have you know the anti-glare and that's that's it's tomato to model right so it's your personal preference if you're used to working on gaming monitors then you're gonna like this monitor still um, contrast ratio it's an OLED monitor they have it listed as 135,000 to one, but it's an OLED monitor, right? So it's self-emissive pixels. And so from a contrast standpoint, it should be ideal. 10 bit, 99% DCI P3 color gamut coverage, right? It's a less than two Delta uh, accuracy from a color uh, accuracy standpoint. It has a 90 watt charging capacity. So one plug, plug the USB-C into your laptop, for instance, for my, um, Alienware R1 back there, it can power that one, whereas most monitors cannot power that energy hog that I have back there. And I'm going to be doing a long-term review on that because I got that as it released, and so I have some thoughts as far as like long-term usage of that Alienware R1 um, X17 monitor. 
HDMI 2.1 support because it is a 4K, it can do 4K 120 hertz for the consoles, right? And so unlike the 1440p's uh, QD OLED monitors, this one's gonna give you your full bandwidth of those gaming consoles next generation. Um, KVM support, so it has a built-in KVM switch to connect multiple PCs, desktop, laptop, etc., and run your peripherals through the dad, through the, the actual monitor. Two eight-watt speakers that produce pretty good sound from the videos that I've seen, but again, I haven't tested it myself. Um, but I'm still excited about the the monitor just from what I've seen, researched, saw on other people's uh, reviews. It has the new WBE OLED panel, right? So that's like. There's this controversy around the Evo panels with uh, LG and like what's Evo, what's not Evo. They started saying that it's the technology, it's not necessarily the panel, but the WBE is the better panel of the, you know, of, of the OLED panels that they have. And so this is the new panel that they have there. Again, it, now it's going to go into detail around the texture, uh, the anti-glare. And so this one is saying reflection type 2% and then it's a haze 35%. And so, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know. Um, four sides bezel-less screen so like literally like this is the best looking this is the, you, you you all know i'm ecstatic aesthetic like i've made purchases based on aesthetics alone and like white and black is my aesthetic of choice for my gaming setups as you all know well not you're probably not a subscriber subscribe like like and share the video but um um if you watch all of my if you watch enough of my videos you know that white is my favorite aesthetic and this to me is one of the best looking monitors um hands down that i've seen and i like the 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 design of this monitor four-sided bezel is as well as the monitor stand looks freaking dope and so that like that's what like one of the first i was like what is that monitor you know i kind of saw just searching and searching for new monitors coming out um but the design elements on this monitor is freaking gorgeous and like there's a lot of monitor brands out there. Asus makes great monitors, but their design sometimes is just over the top. It's aggressive. It's like, man, just relax a little bit on some of that stuff, right? But this design of this monitor um, is 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 gorgeous. And so, um, tear free, stutter free. It's free sync and G sync compatible, right? Because some of these monitors are coming out and they're relying on the free sync only uh, from the from the um, V sync technology, so to speak. But this one is free sync and G sync. And then here we are here. So we're looking at the coverage, 100% sRGB, 133% color gamut area, 99% of the DCI-P3 and Adobe RGB is 89% um, color gamut area is 99%. And so like from a content creation, reproduction, this is extremely color accurate. And so this is not just a blazing fast gaming monitor, but you can have this as your one monitor setup for both color uh, content creation as well as gaming. Um, typical brightness is 450 candelier um, and a peak brightness around 600 HDR10 certified. And so that's that's like your standard, um, you know, gaming monitor from an IPS, but from an OLED, that's really good, right? The IOs, inputs, outputs, right? You have two HDMI 2.1 ports. You have one DP 1.4 display port. You have the Type C um, 90 watt reverse power again for your Mac and or your PC like I have back there. You have your your um, your USB hub there, so there's a 3.0 upstream, and then you have two USB 3.0 downstream, and then you have your headphone jack there. Now it says it has now again like the 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 videos that I watched the sound was was okay but you you're not really going to have like unless it's the Samsung Odyssey Arc with two subwoofers and four you know directional speakers like you know most speakers you're going to expect to use with a headphone a headset or you're going to have a uh, you know monitors or 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 you know soundbar or something like that um no flicker flickering eye saver mode blue low low blue light support there and so this is like the game assist features is kind of what separates the gaming monitors from the televisions um, my opinion is that the lg c2 42 inch is probably the better buy for most people um just because of cost to value ratio but if you are a gamer 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 you're going to want to have a gaming monitor that's going to give you the gaming features right um fps counter crosshair black equalizer um but fps or rts mode is uh, is is a specific 
setting for FPS type games that removes all of the extra and leaves what you need in order to be as fast as possible. So, and then of course, here's the remote, which is better than the LG remote. Like the LG remote is extremely ugly. Um, but, <laughs> um, but this, this remote, it looks like it has all of the things that you need. And so you can see here the different settings that they have on this particular remote. You can even control your KVM switch. There's volume, of course, there's a game assist though. You can, you can cycle through the game assist mode. So this, this remote is better than what you get with any of the other ones from what I remember off top hand, they have it. So right now the price is. 1198 with the stand it's 1098 without the stand and so this is the most affordable 42 inch oled gaming monitor on the market and then the lg um oled you can now find for uh 896 on average i've seen it as low as 796 at brand smart which is a, a brand that i've bought from a lot um and then the current uh, Rogue Swift OLED PG 42 UQ is currently $13.99. Um, but the nice thing about KTC is that you can purchase it directly from their website. Again, $1,099 without the stand, $1,198 with the stand. But they are now shipping on Amazon as well and offering two day delivery, right, from Amazon. So they have them in stock, 27 plus years of experience within the market. But now that they're backed and shipping from Amazon, you have like that added added bonus of like a shortness, right? That you're gonna have a good experience, right? And so take a, take a look, see what they have. Um, I again, I'm excited about this brand. I'm excited to have another player on the market. But the nice thing about them is that they're not new to the market. They are new to selling their own products, but they're not new to their market. You may have one of their one of their monitors on your desk right now. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, stay cozy in that crazy world, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.